Have you ever had a picture you want to use, but the quality is poor? Well, this is going to help. Take a look at the difference here. This is very much enhanced. Hey there, and welcome back to the eDrawSoft YouTube channel. Today, we're going to dive into something awesome. One-click AI features that can supercharge your productivity in eDrawMind. In our last video, we gave you an overview of the latest features in eDrawMind, and I'm sure you're already familiar with how to use them. Today, I'm excited to share some advanced tips and tricks in eDrawMind that can really boost your productivity. Honestly, this is the best AI-powered mind mapping software that I've ever used. No matter your skill level, you'll discover something that will take your mind mapping to the next level. With eDrawMind's AI chatbot, you can easily generate a slide outline just by providing a prompt. What's more, this AI-powered mind mapping software lets you edit the text generated before you choose a template from the available designs. As you work, you'll also have the flexibility to delete any slides from your presentation that you don't need. Want to try out these features? Here's how to get started. Step one, download eDrawMind to your desktop. Once installed, open the main interface and click on the one-click mind map to slides conversation button in the top right corner. All right, so I can click this right here. There will be a window that pops up, so then you can go to My Resources, and inside of here, all you have to do is select PowerPoint Works right here and click on the AI PowerPoint button to launch the eDraw Mind AI Assistant. You can also actually reach this by going to Create and then AI Slides here. So once you're in this AI chatbot, uh, all you're going to do is follow these steps. You're going to go to, you're going to go to here and you're going to click on Methods of Reading Notes for the topic generation. As you can see, it's creating titles, different sections, and generating bullet points as well. So after the tool finishes generating this, what you can do is really cool. You can press select template right here. Okay. And what we can do is we can select whatever one that we prefer. Uh, there's a lot of different options here. As you can see, scrolling through, there is ones for business. Uh, this light purple one's intriguing to me that I like, but there's there's plenty of different ones. Say you're doing a historical one, you can definitely do this eDraw Mind slide template that looks like business. So I'm going to click generate, and this will move us on to the final step of this PowerPoint 2.0 feature. In the editing interface, you can review the slides generated by the AI, and once you're satisfied with the content after going through and analyzing them, what you can do is you can click the export button, which is on the top right of the screen. So you do need to take a second and wait for everything to generate before you can press export. And during that time, I'm just going to take a look at everything. I mean, it's pretty amazing to me that this was able to so quickly create this. So amazing work here by eDrawMind. All right, now let's click on export. And as you can see, you can export it as slides and a PDF, graphics, a bunch of different file types here. Whichever one you prefer, just press export. You can change the location that you want to put it in here and the file name as well. Now let's move on to the next feature, the AI image generator. Have you ever had a picture you want to use, but the quality is poor? Well, this is going to help. This function offers a range of image processing features to enhance the images you add to your slide. It includes advanced tools like background and text removal, image compression, intelligent object removal, and image sharpening. Each tool uses AI to improve the image in its own way, allowing you to easily integrate the enhanced image into your mind map and present your topic effectively. Keep watching to learn the next two steps. Step one, in eDraw Mind's main interface, you can locate the image processing section in the top right corner of the screen. As you can see, it's over here. I'm gonna click on the tool that I want, which is going to be specifically enhance my image. So as you can see, there's super resolution. And for this example, we're gonna use the photo enhancer to upgrade a low quality image to a high quality image. And this is so that we can put it inside of the mind map. So as you can see, we can look at these examples right up before and after. And all we have to do is upload the image that we want from a specific device. All right, so if I go here and get the photo, we're gonna take this moon picture, we're gonna do a super enlargement. Let's press start. So now it's going to go through the process of automatically enhancing the image to super resolution quality. You can click the download button without the watermark to save the enhanced image to your device and use it to showcase your mind map topic. Let's take a look at the difference here. This is very much enhanced. So we can just press download here and say moon image, much improved over the original. 
Next up, one of my favorite new features in eDraw Mind, the Kanban mode. This feature lets you transform your mind maps into organized project boards for more efficient task management. In this mode, your mind map is divided into cards, which are arranged across the entire workspace, allowing you to easily adjust the relationships between each card. Plus, with eDrawMind's AI-powered tools, you can customize the card colors to match the theme you're working with. To make the most of this newly launched feature, follow the steps outlined below. So first, what you're gonna do is from the main interface of eDrawMind, you're gonna go to the Open tab, on the left-hand side of the screen. Then you're gonna choose your preferred import option to add content to your mind map. So here's an example of a mind map that I've created earlier about the history of America. And what we can do is in the editing interface, you can click on the Kanban option on the top. So we can go here and click Kanban. And what you'll see is that it's gonna be in an organized layout of this Kanban view. And to make changes, you can click the three dots on the top of any card to open up a drop down and choose the adjustments you'd like to make, whether it be copy the column, delete it, or I really like the changing of colors in this section. And as we covered in the last video, the pitch mode does transform static mind maps into dynamic, visually engaging presentations with just one click. So if I click on this, it offers a variety of themes in both light and dark versions. So if I pick the light one here, it'll fit my needs the most as well as my audiences. And the pitch screen lets you view the entire presentation seamlessly. And you can exit at any time with ease using this powerful AI mind mapping software. To get the most out of this feature, follow the steps outlined below. Step one, start by opening your desired mind map in eDraw Mind. Then in the main editing interface, you can click on the pitch option in the top left corner. This will open the pitch style template window where you can choose between the light or dark pitch style. Once you've made your selection, you can click the full screen projection mode button to view the pitch in full screen mode. Step two, in pitch mode, you can press pause or play and you can move around this entire presentation as you'd like. Once you're finished presenting your mind map, you can simply click the exit button to exit the full screen mode and return to the editing panel. When your content is ready, the last step is to make your mind map look awesome. eDrawMind offers 15 different layouts, allowing you to customize your map's appearance to suit your needs, whether it's a tree, fishbone, or another layout style. Plus, it supports multiple file formats, giving you the flexibility to export and use your mind maps later on. Step one, in the editing panel, find the carrot to the right arrow icon on the right side of the screen to open the sidebar. So you can see, if I click on this, it opens it up. From there, you can click on the map icon and open the drop down menu next to the layout section. Step two, in the layout options drop down menu, you can choose the style that best fits your needs. This allows you to adjust the theme of your mind map to match your overall content. For example, this is a timeline. We should probably use a timeline instead of a general mind map since it's showing something over a period of time. Step three, after adjusting the mind map layout, you can click the export button in the top right corner of the panel. In the dialog box, select your preferred file format and click export to save your creation to your device. And that's it for today. We hope these handy features of eDraw Mind will help make your workflow smoother and more efficient. Download the latest version to try them all out today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates and tutorials. Feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.